Hi, my name is Dominic Nickerson, and I chose to do my final vlog on the movie Beast of Southern Wild, which is directed by Ben Zeeland. So this film captured my attention because I had never heard of this film until this class, and it took me by surprise on how well it was done. So what caused this movie to be so exceptional was the relationship between the setting of the bathtub and the characters it held, as well as the subtle messages that were expressed through the characters' costumes within the movie. So with regards to setting, Beast of the Southern Wild takes place in a location called the bathtub. A defiant and forgotten bayou town within Louisiana that is isolated from the rest of civilization. What the bathtub represented in the beginning of the movie was freedom from the rules and boundaries set by society. The bathtub was a safe haven in a way where people live by the laws of nature and land rather than by the laws of society and government. And so the reason that I found the setting of the bathtub to be so important to the movie was because the evolution it goes through resembles the evolution that Hush Puppy's father Wink goes through as well. So Wink's health is fine at the start of the film, as is the bathtubs, but once Hush Puppy punches Wink's chest and he collapses, the storm begins to brew within the setting of the bathtub. And so later in the movie, after Wink drains the bathtub by blowing up the levee, uh, the setting resembles a barren wasteland where everything is dying or already dead. And when the citizens of the bathtub return from the mainland, Wink is very weak and is placed on his deathbed, waiting for illness to consume him, just as the bathtub is. And so finally, after Wink dies, the final scene to the movie is Hush Puppy and the other citizens of the bathtub walking down the road, leaving the bathtub behind, signifying the bathtub's quote-unquote death in the movie. And so the evolution of life that Wink and the bathtub shared represented the powerful connection that he and all the other characters had with nature and their home of the bathtub, which is why I believe that the setting was one of the most powerful uh, components of mise-en-scene within the film. So now with regards to the costumes within the movie, the scene that is influenced most by the apparel of the characters is when the citizens of the bathtub are subjected to a mandatory evacuation by the government and are placed into a refugee camp. So when they first arrive, the citizens of the bathtub are dressed in dirty, raggedy, old clothes, and they just, they just don't look great. And what's interesting is that early in the movie, we didn't really pay much attention to that aspect. Like, we, they were just in their home, they were in their natural environment, we didn't really pay attention to how kind of like unsanitary they were. And so, but when they were placed in this different environment, their features became much more distinct to us. So we also noticed that the grimy appearances of the bats of natives more clearly because we compare them to the costumes of the doctors and nurses working on hand. So the doctors and nurses were typically wearing brighter colors, especially white, which symbolizes their higher class and purity compared to the people of the bats of who we see as inferior now. And so the main effect from that costume of the bats of citizens shows within the scene is how alienated they are from the rest of society. Before we knew they were physically detached from society, since the bathtub was far from the mainland, but by seeing them within the mainland society itself, we see how they are detached from society in many other aspects, such as intellectually, medically, socially, and numerous other ways. And so this, environment, this effect also touches on the topic of home, because by seeing how foreign they are to this environment, we realize that the bathtub is their true home, because it's where they feel most comfortable and aren't forced to abide by the ways of the mainland society. Okay, so that's my vlog. I thought I'd touch on some pretty good topics. I thought this was a great film. Um, I thought setting and costuming was the main effect and it was great, had a great effect on the film. And I'd like to thank you for a great quarter. Thanks.